there ain't nothing that can get your girl more inspired than some printables. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I chasing you. I'm going to be making some new principles for my control journal. I'm trying to like step my control journal game up because your girl's trying to always stay inspired, you know. And so um, what I've been noticing is since I'm still so new in my fly lady journey, like my routines are changing. And it's just like the more I do it, the more I realize like, mm, that's not working out for me or mm, this would be a task that would be better suited for like a different time of the day. So. I keep trying to create a control journal, but I need to realize that my control journal is a living creature and it evolves. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, as my life changes, as my kids get older, as we go through different stages, um, it will continue to evolve. So I just need to make it simple for me to just update my routines. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going, I'm currently working in Canva and I am going to be, um, just creating a morning routine template that I can laminate and it will have all my morning routines on there. Plus, you know, my days, it kind of change. And so I just wanted to have um, some space to be able to adjust and just, since it's gonna be laminated, just write what's going on for that day and then erase it and have it ready for the next day. So I already kind of started on it and then I realized like, hey girl, like it would be so dope if you like record it, you know? So that's what I'm doing, so. Here you go. Right now I'm in Canva. This is like a template that I found. This is what I'm gonna be working with. So, you know, your girl needs to be inspired. So I have morning routine on there. And then I'm also gonna put something here about um, set the tone for your day. Because I honestly feel like sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I am not motivated to get it done. I'm just not motivated. But I have noticed a correlation between, correlation, correlation between when I just get up and do what I need to do anyway. Like I always feel a little bit uplifted. And so um, I'm just like trying to encourage myself, like set the tone for your day. Like if you want to have a good productive day, it all starts with how you start off first thing in the morning and so I just want to remind myself that especially on those days where it's really hard that yes I know it's so tempting to just sit yourself on the couch kick your feet up and watch the Wendy Williams show but I do not want the rest of my day to be crap so let's get it started on the right foot and then I'm just gonna have my important tasks so usually you guys I have a video all about my morning routine so y'all know how I feel about them hot spots all right, so I go, I hit up those hot spots. I'm gonna try to type this in the order that I usually do it. And then I usually will make my bed, make my bed. And after I make my bed, I usually go and then I, uh, I shine my sink. So I get the dishes out of the dishwasher, clean up from breakfast and so, I usually consider anything that's related to dishes a shine my sink. So yeah, if there's anything in there, any dishes that need to get done, I usually swap those and that just takes a few minutes. Then I usually, my girls are struggling with some eczema right now and so I'm trying to get into the habit of not just waiting till I feel like they need to be moisturized, just being more proactive. So I usually moisturize the girls and then um usually i pick out meat and stuff for dinner so i have this little spot here where i'm like what's for dinner girl so instead of instead of putting here defrost if i start thinking about what i'm eating for dinner first thing in the morning i'm hoping that this little spot will trigger me to do that so i'm leaving it blank because remember guys i'm gonna laminate this sheet and then i can write it in um in a dry erase marker and then erase it and use it from day to day. And then um, here I have my Weight Watchers points tracker. I am trying to get back into my Weight Watchers program slowly but surely. Like I'm trying not to like get so hardcore into it and then not be motivated to do it, you know, in a couple of weeks. So I've been challenging myself to just write down like what do you plan to eat for the day? Just write it down on paper and then stick to that. And then with time, I'm going to spend more time planning out the points if I can just get myself into the habit 
uh, tracking and thinking about what I want to eat in advance. So that's my baby step toward um, a healthier life. Then usually, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just hit those hot spots. I make my bed. Oh, swish and swipe. So swish and swipe should actually go up here because usually I do that as I'm making my rounds. So I'm gonna go here and put swish and swipe. Swish and swipe, baby. So for those of you who don't know what I mean by swish and swipe, this is, I'm doing Fly Lady, and so this is our opportunity to keep our sinks and toilets clean. I usually don't swish and swipe every day, but I do check to see if it needs to get done. And if it does, I just handle it instead of letting stuff like build up or whatever. And then your girl usually does some type of zone cleaning during the day. So <clears throat> I've kind of debated. I think I'm going to divide this into two portions because what I want to do is I just want to keep track of. Okay, so I'm going to put zone cleaning because what I want to do is keep track of like what zone I'm going to be in. Um, I have not gotten to the point where I have like a zone cleaning master list yet. So these are the things I know I'm going to be doing every single month because right now I'm still in the decluttering phase and the recovering phase. I'm still trying to work on projects that are getting on my nerves. And so I'm not ready to sit down and commit to, I'm going to dust every month. I'm going to do this every month. So I want to leave this space open and um, free to um, whatever's bothering me that day so I want to have like time to think about zone cleaning and then and then I want to have a space for like my daily task because as you guys know like every day I'm assigning like a specific task to that day so let's copy so for example on Monday is my paper day I, I or sorry is my desk day so I do like desk related tasks so if I have like some stuff in mind like I have to pay this bill I have to do this stuff I just want to have like it listed out in this space so we have zone cleaning and then we have our uh, task for the day and so on Tuesdays that's anti-procrastination day so I can just sit there and write out the anti-procrastination tasks I want to do for that day and then just kind of track along so I can just see it. Wednesday I do I'm trying to get into some type of food task and so I can make time to do that whether that's meal prepping or if I want to go grocery shopping that day and then um yeah, so and then Thursday I do my weekly home blessing so I can write there write that down and keep track of what needs to get done and so um, yeah so this looks pretty good um, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything my official planner is downstairs and so I will probably check it before I print this off but yeah this like feels so good so I'm just gonna have this I'm gonna print it off I'm going to put it probably on a clipboard or something or I will probably just hang it on my fridge so that it can be a reusable template. It's here and so if I need to go back and edit it or change anything it will be super easy for me to do that instead of having to start from scratch every single time. This is bae. This is cute and this is like the type of stuff I need to be surrounded by to just stay motivated to just kick butt on my routine. So here's the thing. I'm obsessed. Um, so I am not like a planner principal kind of girl because I'm constantly like struggling with that part of me that's like lazy and I say lazy but it's more like I just don't feel like cleaning and I'd rather be doing other stuff so I'm constantly struggling with that part of myself that's like don't do it just go do read a book go sit on the couch go to the park and so I don't know what it is even though I don't feel like I want to create the schedules, I want to create the checklist, there's something about when I actually do. I feel like I'm tapping into another part of myself. Something about planners and principles and planning stuff out in advance just makes that other part of me so happy and ready to get stuff together. And so what I'm learning is, like I said, I don't naturally want to do these things, but when I do, it just makes life flow a lot easier and what I call it is like making pre-made decisions <clears throat> so I really try not to make decisions based off of how I'm feeling that day like unless it's pretty dramatic like I'm just having a 
off 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 day then i will give myself a break but you know some days i'm more motivated than others and i do not want to base my life based on how i'm feeling that day so if i make very small reasonable goals and i'm consistent about accomplishing that then i think that that's just helping me like be less stressed out because i'm like letting less stuff pile up on me and i'm just doing the best that i can to just uh, tackle stuff a little bit at a time but isn't this so reasonable you guys like to me this is reasonable this is more reasonable than like marathon cleaning and just not letting stuff build up on you and just being proactive so anyway that's that I love it I love it so okay so the most embarrassing thing happened I'm I'm in the middle of, I did this in between a class and so I'm getting ready to teach my next student and I realized that my microphone was on and she could hear me and so there's this button here I was supposed to put it on mute and this button totally doesn't work because I could hear myself like being echoed in the background so I'm over here like getting excited making my video I'm like I love it I love it and then I hear myself and I'm like oh my god and then I hear my student making fun of me she's like I love it I love it so it's so awkward and so anyway thought I would share that awkward story with you guys so anyway uh, happy week happy motivation I hope you guys are able to crush your goals this week and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you. Cause I got better, better things to do.